The question we get is, how does a chimney sweep clean a chimney and will it make a mess? Um, now that definitely differs depending on the company. Um, every company kind of does it a little different. I mean, there's a few different ways to do it, but you know, depending on the company you work for, it's gonna be different. Now here at my company, what we do is we'll go inside your home. We actually clean it from the inside and we will go to the fireplace, set up a tarp, so that way, if any sort of soot or anything falls out, that it goes onto our tarps, not onto your floor or, you know, anywhere around there. We set up a shop back. We have that shop back running at all times when we're sweeping it. We have sweep rods. Um, and then on the end of those sweep rods, we have a brush. Now the brushes come in different sizes, depending on what size flue you have, or if it's a masonry unit, we'll use a big brush. So it hits a lot more area. Uh, prefabricated units usually nowadays they have eight DM pipe, eight diameter pipe. Um, so we'll use a brush that's built for eight DM. Um, sometimes you'll run into nine or 10 inch uh, inner pipe like that. And we do have different brushes for those as well um, to fit. Um, but we put the brush on the end of those sweep rods. And then on the bottom end of that sweep rod, there's another thread. So you can put another rod into. Um, so you just take those sweep rods with that brush, stick them into the damper housing. And if it's a prefabricated unit, you know, of course, it's just going to have round flue pipe. So you just stick it in there and start scrubbing, 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 scrubbing. Put on a new rod, keep scrubbing until you hit the very top because you're going to hit the cap eventually and it's going to stop you. Um, and then you're going to know that, okay, I've made it to the top. Then you bring all of that back down, unscrew your rods as you're going. And that would be how, you know, and then once all that soot has fallen down, you vacuum it all up with your shop vac. We usually have a vacuum bag in our shop vacs to make sure that we don't just completely soot up the inside of those vacuums because they do have filters. And if you don't have a bag, those filters will get dirty within one sweep and they don't suck as well um, after that. So you definitely, uh, you know, let make it, make sure you get all of that soot down and then you vacuum it. Now on the sides of the actual fireplace walls, we usually have scrub brushes. We'll scrub, 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 making sure that we get all of the creosote or any soot buildup out of there. I'll sometimes take a little paint brush after I'm, after I'm done with that and get any sort of the little, you know, ashiness out of there if it's in the grooves or anything of that nature. Um, and that's how I clean prefabricated units. Now with masonry, same way, same setup. We're going there with the tarp, with the vacuum. We got our sweep rods. Now I'm gonna put a, a large brush on the end of my sweep rod so that way it covers a lot more area. Um, and generally speaking, I'll go up on one side because with masonries, they'll usually have what we call a throat damper on the inside. So it's a very long damper and in the middle, is the handle that you either push or pull to get it open or close. So I'll usually start on one side of that lever and I'll clean, 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 get all the way up to the top, I hit, hit the top, I know I'm out, so then I bring it all back down. Then as soon as I get it all down, I'll go to the other side of that damper handle and I'll clean, 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 clean over there. Um, a lot of times, you know, if we can, we don't have to take the damper off if we can get our vacuum up and over the damper into what's called the smoke shelf and you, you know, vacuum all that you can there. If you can't get your vacuum in there easily, then sometimes we will take that damper housing off um, and actually get up in there and vacuum out that, that smoke shelf. Um, but, you know, everything falls down into the fireplace, vacuum it all up, scrub those walls, make sure all that soot's off, vacuum that all up. Um, and that's how it's done. Now, there are definitely units where we cannot sweep from the inside and we have to go up top and sweep from there. And generally speaking, if that's the case, you'll either tape off with some sort of material to block that fireplace opening. You know, you can tape it off so that way all the soot stays in there. A lot of times we'll just have that shop back running, um, you know, constantly have somebody down inside to make sure that soot's just not going crazy and puffing and going everywhere um, and then we'll make sure we clean it that way um, especially with wood stoves sometimes we'll, we'll come up to homes with wood stoves and a lot of times with wood stoves it is very hard to try to get your rods inside of the wood stove to go up so we'll go up top on the roof and we'll sweep down and with those wood stoves they usually have doors so we'll just close the door to the wood stove so no soot can fall out um, clean 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 from the top then once we're done, go down, vacuum up all we can, and boom, the wood stove is clean. Um, so that's that's how we do it here um, at our company. And like, like I said, of course, sometimes people do it from the top. Some people do it from the bottom. Some people, you know, do it however, they, however they're told to. Uh, but here we do it from the bottom, um, you know, unless 
the customer absolutely wants us to do it a, a different way. Um, and that would be our simple cleaning. Now we do have, you know, stage two and stage three cleanings where we, we what we call roto cleans, where you actually go in there with chains that are either on the end of a drill or some sort of machine. Um, and that actually will get off any sort of heavy creosote buildup. Um, because sometimes creosote is easily scrubbed off with a brush. Other times it's been caked on there for so long that you have to go in there with chains and knock it off. And when you do that, you also knock off the mortar that's inside of the smoke chamber or whatever it may be. And then you have to re-mortar the inside of that. Um, but if you have heavy creosote buildup like that, I'm going to tell you, you probably have a lot more damages than just needing a cleaning. So that's why you'll, you'll end up getting that cleaning and then you'll get it remortared afterwards. So, um, there's a couple different ways, but just in general, our normal sweeps are the way I just described at the beginning of this clip.